Hello, good morning. Welcome to this little video of the Phantom system. On this occasion, we are going to show you the operation of this small system. It will help us to orient our triaxial accelerometer in a specific position. So if in the future we have to replace the node, it will be in exactly the same position. Okay, well, to start with, let's locate the parts that make up the system. We have a base of a drill hole arrangement to fix to the surface. Or we can also use some epoxy resin, as in my case. I can place my Phantom on a compressor engine. Then I can't drill the engine. So I'm going to use this resin to fix my base. We also have a special screw called shoulder bolt and it has a one quarter UNF or 28 threads per inch on one side and we have a square lock coin with a centered square hole. We're going to use a wrench as well. This wrench comes in our Phantom kit. To place this node what I'm going to do is to insert the pin in the base in this position with the face looking down. I put the epoxy resin on the edge so that when I fix it I don't touch the center and leave some space. So when this paste or epoxy dries the shoulder bolt can continue to rotate freely. We will let dry and return. We waited 10 till 15 minutes for the epoxy to dry completely. We have also removed the protection to be able to maneuver in this engine area. We verify that the shoulder bolt is indeed free and it can be moved. Once this has been verified, we will remove the first part that comes in the lower part of the Phantom and place our square lock coin with a square hole in this position. Once the lock coin has been placed, we will secure it with our wrench and fix the Phantom. This is the interesting part. We are going to change the shots to the top so that you can see how our phantom can be positioned. It is important to highlight that on the upper part of the triaxial phantom are engraved the three axes of the accelerometers according to the right hand rule. X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Let's place them according to how best suits me. In this case, I will place the x-axis over the actual, the z-axis over the horizontal and the y-axis over the vertical of my motor. Fixed with the wrench, I align my axis. A little bit passed and I tighten counterclockwise the square lock coin so that x is on the axial axis Z on the horizontal and Y on the vertical of my motor. That's the way we can configure our Phantom according to our convenience with this small system of Airbus instruments. For more information visit our page airbus-instruments.com